Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an application called Flame Painter 3 Pro. It's a really good application, works really well with Photoshop. Now, what it does, it's got a whole selection of different brushes that you can actually apply, sort of creates flame design. So I'm just going to click one of these. I'm going to use my art pad just to quickly create a flame design. And you can create literally thousands of different flames. So you just scatter lights. Basically, it's a uh, Got a whole range of different options over here to modify the size, the span, very softness, speed, of creation, chaos, and all that sort of thing. You can see them fade it, and also different modes like ribbon, which create some very different unusual effects, as well as different mode blending modes. Not many, unfortunately. Normal, light, and dark, and it'd be great if it actually had difference as well. But anyway, you can modify the opacity. There's a whole selection of different brushes available, also different layers, so you can actually create multiple layers and with different brush strokes. And there's a whole selection of presets here that create some really interesting light trails and flame designs. One of the quirks of this application is that it creates two layers when it starts. So when you create a new document, so you've got layer two and layer one. Personally, prefer just to quickly go to layer and merge layers. Once you've actually done that, you can actually then just quickly copy. So edit and copy. Now. Another thing, Flame, you obviously want to create the same size in Photoshop as well as in obviously over here. So when you create a new, you've actually got it comes up and comes up with a dialogue. No, I don't want to do that. Like 800 and 600. So obviously match that here. So, right. Now go over to Photoshop. And I've already created a document over here, but I'm just going to remove that and just edit and then paste. So just quickly paste in this design. Now, obviously in Photoshop, you've got a vast range of different filters. So you can just quickly apply vast range ones, especially something like filter gallery. So create a sort of you know, stroked design using that, or maybe other filters or maybe blur effects as well as stylized, maybe create diffuse design, or find edges, or add maybe even more light into it by lens flare. Add flare into that as well. So click OK. 